talking about put some heart on him Turn to your safe houses. After that, you'll be on your own. Oh. <laughs> 
my god! Thank you so much for helping me. Oh god.
Alright, I opened the local valves plus the primary gate. Uh-huh, what about the ballast lines? Wait, the, the what? Flame and flatulence, do I have to tell you everything? Obviously, you have to close all the valves on the blue line to keep the pressure balanced. Now hurry up, we're going to be leaking more gas than Grandma Christmas. Thank <laughs> you. 
Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't the Navy, son. Drink some coffee and sober up. Well done, soldier. I'll open the main pressure gate. Then prepare your eyes for a feast of controlled pyro combustion. Now, I think I should watch this from a distance. If you insist, you got ten seconds.
I found Jeff, and the gas is back on. That's a relief. Told you, he's irreplaceable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to find a replacement. I'm sorry? Work with who? Jade Aldemir. The Scorpion? God, she is so awesome. She's the... the whole reason why I came to Haran. You came here to see Jade? Wow, you're on a first-name basis with her? That's... I would just die. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, she was supposed to compete in the Global Games, you know? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, she is such an amazing kickboxer. People used to say she was like the female Chang Li. She's the reason I started training, you know? I wanted to be just like her. And then my dad got me and my sister tickets to the game for my graduation present. And we came here and my sister, right after all the sirens started going off and the soldiers showed up in the streets, we were trying to get to a safe spot and she tripped and, and fell. I didn't realize it for a few seconds. I kept running and she didn't make a sound because it, it knocked the wind out of her and, and then I, I realized she wasn't with me and turned around they were all over her I, I couldn't even see her for all the biters but I've been thinking to myself ever since then how would the scorpion handle this and, and I've been trying to be brave when you see her again would you tell her one of her biggest fans says hi I will definitely Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisen. to get to the drops. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? 
Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatine. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10-kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. People are rice. counting on you to help them out. Please, to get to the don't drops. just stand around. Do something. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! I froze. Fucking Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. 
I'm a goddamn parkour instructor! Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Like, Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards! I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long.